Today we continue with the Spring Security Series. We are going to create a custom user details service in this part. This is an intermediate step to be able to retrieve the users from a database in the next part. We return to the code of part 4. And remove the lot of code, let's go over. In the Maven Palm file, we remove the dependencies for the database and OAuth 2. In the main class, we remove the command line runner. In the application properties file, we removed all the properties for the H2 database. The home controller has not been changed. In the security configuration class, the magic happens. We switched back to a single security filter chain and removed the data source and JDBC user details manager beans. To allow the log all logins, we have two new beans of type application listener. The first bean will take care of all success long attempts, and the second bean will take care of all errors with incorrect login credentials. There is additionally a new bean of type password encoder. This bean is essential. But for now, we will use the no op password encoder option. Do not use this in a real project. This is for testing purposes only. Then to the user details service configuration. You have two options to let Spring Security know which user details service you want to use. You can do that globally with a bean. Or in the security filter chain. This means that if you have multiple security filter chains, you can configure a separate user details service for each filter chain. If you do not configure a user details service, you will get an error message in the login screen. We can test this later. And finally, the new class my user details service. This class implements the user details service interface with one method load user by username. This will later become the connection between Spring Security and a database. Now we just check if the username is equal to user, if so we return a user details. If not we return an error of type username not found exception. We return to the security configuration class. We will first start the project without a user detail service. And see what happens. Now if we start our project without user detail service. We see that Spring itself creates a user with a random password. If we activate the user details service, everything starts up as expected and we can test our project in a browser. Finally, we can test our project in a browser window. The welcome page works as expected. If we go to the user page, we get to see the login window to log in. We log in with user and get the expected result. Also, the admin page works. And if we want to log in with another user, we get a bad credentials error. If we now go back to the console window of Eclipse, we see the logging of the application listener. A success login and a bad credentials login. So, that's it for today. In the next video we have a lot of work, then we want to introduce the database connection. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.